Alright, what's up, Sunners? Welcome to the local band Smokeout. I'm your host, is High the Most BG. Today we're checking out theatrical horror band The Apparitionist. So it's called The Beldum and features Brian Akers. Coming out of Tacoma, Washington. Uh, this is basically for fans of extreme metal, Raven Black, uh, just very theatrical, unusual, big, wide style horror. Should be a lot of fun. Facebook.com slash The Apparitionist. Please go like their page and support them. If you guys enjoy these reaction videos, please kindly consider hitting the little weed leaf, clicking the little weed leaf in the corner right there, or hit that subscription button. I'd really appreciate it. The Beldum by The Apparitionist. Park it up if you got it. Here we go. Crazy sounds. It has like really unusual chords going on. Um, the vocals are really cool and creepy. I like that a lot. But like some of the st stuff being played is like intentionally wrong, but right. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it it's just cool. It's different. <laughs> I like the Coraline art going on right here. This reminds me of like a more evil version of like a song from like Nightmare Before Christmas. Like it has, it has like those theatrical vibes, but um, at the same time, it's it's its own thing, which is really cool. But you can kind of hear those little elements in there. I like all the little, like, there's like a scream that keeps going off in the background, like, ah, almost like someone like, like a little girl screaming in there, uh, in the distance. That's cool. I think the bass sounds really, really good. There's a couple of parts when it goes like that, dun, 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 and you can hear the, the thumpiness of the bass really well. <laughs> Yeah, they're like they're like speedy evil violins over like that guitar ringing out going on right there that give it like the like a eeriness. I don't really know how to describe it. If 
probably looked like I was off of something right there, but I was pretending to play violin. <laughs> So this this artist actually submitted because they had seen a different reaction and it was specifically the uh, the Kim Dracula one I did and I can hear like tidbits of influence of that artist in this it's like the creepy low tone vocal that's that's sitting there like it has some screams and stuff underneath it but it's like that creepy like talking low tone <laughs> the apparitionist with the beldum featuring brian acres <clears throat> and i do not know brian acres or what he did in the song but the song itself is really cool i'm going 8.6 out of 10 i thought at times the mix was really good and then at some spots, it was like a just a pinch cluttery at some spots, but um, I did not deduct any points from that. The vocals are really wild. There's a lot of like eerie creepiness going on. The that that scary the piano sounds just makes it. It just gives it like a Halloween vibe. Uh, now I understand why when it's they're labeled as theatrical horror extreme metal. Um, there was this cool scream going on in the background throughout throughout the whole thing. But just in general, some of the guitar tones were just odd and strange, but like in a really awesome, excellent way. Excellent. Um, but it's almost like like stuff that you'd, like weird sounds you'd get by like taking the pick and like sliding it or like playing it in weird little spots and then just adding a lot of like, like reverb and like pitch shifting. I don't know if that's what they did, but um, it's really cool. It's really creepy. Shout out to the movie Coraline. I've probably seen the movie a hundred times. My wife loves that film. Uh, so does my son. Um, but yeah, you you do really get like a uh, nightmare before Christmas vibe in some spots. Like like this could have been on that soundtrack. <clears throat> out of Tacoma, Washington, the apparitionist. I'm going eight point six out of ten. Uh, please go like their page and support them. Facebook.com/slash the apparitionist. And uh, yeah, shout out to Brian Akers, who's also on the track. I don't know what he did on the track, but. He did a good job, I think. <laughs> uh, guys, if you're watching it, once again, please go support that band. And uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button or the little weed dude in the corner for me. I really appreciate it. Over 3,300 reaction videos and counting. We also have a bunch of EP album reviews and interviews all on the uh, our YouTube page as well. Four times a week we're live on either Twitch or Facebook. Uh, that's going to be five times a week soon. But uh, twitch.tv slash localbandsmoker or at localbandsmoker on Facebook. That's the place where we always have guests, prizes, trivia, and punishment. Review about 80 to 100 artists to stream and give away a ton of free merch over there. So please join us if you can. And if you're watching this and you'd like me to do a reaction for your music, just go to localbandsmoker.com, click the submit tab. Any artist, any genre from anywhere in the entire world will get it done immediately for you. Other than that, I am your host. Oh, and if you're on Twitter, please hit the like or retweet button and comment tag somebody below that needs to check out the apparitionist. Okay, I think we got everything covered. I am your host who's had the most BG saying cheers. Keep blazing. And of course, Smoke weed every day. I'll see you.